Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to review this presentation. Our goal is to provide you with information regarding a viable option for automating your IT governance process. IT leaders and managers see the execution of life cycle stages as the orchestration of a variety of activities that must be seamlessly and predictably tied together. Unfortunately, reliance of poorly implemented IT service management platforms, reliance on PowerPoint, Excel and email as core process tools fosters an environment in which it is nearly impossible to make quality, risk-informed decisions. A typical IT governance process leading to an investment decision can often be summarized into four distinct phases, including idea, collection, analysis, and governance. An idea would travel a path from initial documentation to one of the collection sponsors. In this instance this example we have highlighted IT capital planning. Once formally accepted by IT capital planning a request would be forwarded for analysis and onto a pre-investment decision. This leads us to the purpose of the presentation. In short, we ask for your assistance. We have developed a functional prototype of an IT governance system using Microsoft Power Apps. This is a zero-code solution based on Microsoft Office 365 which we believe is the target platform for your agency. Our goal is to demonstrate how a substantial portion of the challenges faced by IT to manage the orchestration of governance activities could be managed. The screenshots you are about to see are from the live prototype. Similar to any management system we provisioned an ability for users to manage the pipeline of work activities using standard database views. The amount, sequence, and filtering of content presented on views can be easily tailored to meet the needs of each constituent user group and individuals. The questions we used as a basis to develop the prototype are based on a form used by your organization for the collection of capital planning request. We translated information requested in the Excel document into normalized database structures that now span multiple tables. We arranged the questions across multiple tabs to simplify documentation. What you are seeing is the first screen that will appear for all new and updated requests. One of the capabilities we provide is required in an IT service management platform, an ability to auto-generate unique record identities. Our prototype supports the ability to use a date or text prefix for the unique record identities. IT governance life cycles are often multiple step processes. We have tailored the step control graphic that is native to PowerApps to reflect our interpretation of the primary and inferred steps in your life cycle process. This multi-step graphic automatically appears and is updated on all screens that are directly associated with a request. A somewhat unique feature of the multi-step graphic includes the ability to embed the logic that governs how a request moves from one step in the life cycle to another. Equally important is an ability to allow users to update required data elements by simply clicking on the name of the step. Updates made in the step dialog are automatically updated in the form, and vice versa. When all elements of a step are completed the system automatically includes a next step button in the dialog to allow the process to indicate completion of a process step. The prototype was created with flexibility in mind. Wherever possible, look up list a link to database tables, thus supporting simplified adaptation of the system without need to modify screen forms. The prototype was constructed using the PowerApps model-based approach. As such, multiple screen forms were developed and published as part of the prototype. This approach demonstrates an ability to provision capability tailored to discrete user groups that meet their unique needs while leveraging a common database structure. The view on your screen employs a form that includes a governance box to the right that we will explain a bit more toward the end of the presentation. In this example we selected a form called Q&A that supports a user being able to document their questions and work notes from a single screen. As users move from one tab to another the Q&A and work notes boxes will be automatically updated with related records input by any users. 
The master inventory of questions and work notes are stored separately in their own tables and each record is linked to its parent request. In this example we selected a form employing a 50 to 50 split screen, again using the same database. This example is meant to demonstrate one possible way a screen could be defined to support the needs of requirements analysis. Consider the idea of a requirements analyst documenting functional requirements as she moves through each of the tabs of this request. When dealing with complex surveys slash requests, the most important function of our prototype is the use of tabs to organize the data. Tabs formats dramatically reduce the need for a user to scroll back and forth through a portfolio of questions. An equally important function native to Power Apps and the prototype is the ability to present and manage parent-child related records on a single screen. This function provides for significant scalability of the system in that all of the possible fields in a database are not required to be included in a single table. In the example on your screen we see multiple question and answer records are associated with a single request. When creating a child record the prototype presents a screen form that allows for the capture of detailed comments. The system automatically associates the child record with its parent and assigns a unique identifier. In the prototype we provide an example of how the vote of each ITG board member could be recorded as a child record and associated with its parent request. Near the beginning of the presentation I mentioned that I would explain the governance box on the right side of the screen. Its purpose is to provide an example of how child records could be presented in a way that facilitates rapid understanding of the context of a request. In this example, the vote by three different ITG members are shown on the opening screen of a request. Is this approach to the use of screen real estate right or wrong, that is up to each organization that employs this type of tool? The value of the approach employed in our development of the prototype is that it employs a set of tools that are likely common to your environment. As such, the ability to provision and support the core functionality already exist. The goal of this approach is to achieve operational transparency for governance activities. While the example demonstrates a life cycle that collects and seeks to manage a significant quantity of data associated with each request, the prototype could have just as easily be used to manage a more streamlined data set. The key takeaway is the approach included zero custom code as all of the functionality represent assembled pieces of a puzzle. While there is clearly a trade-off in the user interface and experience, the upside is availability and supportability over time. In conclusion, which elements of the IT governance lifecycle that lead up to the executive's investment decision gate did we not discuss or demonstrate? We ask because we would like to expand our knowledge base and improve the prototype. Thank you for your time.